Hello everybody, I'm Graham from Growthbook and today I'm going to give you a quick overview of the platform and how you can use it to do feature flagging and experimentation. So let's get started. Feature flagging allows you to de-risk your feature rollouts by decoupling the deployment of your code from the release of the feature to your users. To get started, you first have to install the SDK. We support multiple different languages from React, Go, PHP, Python, Ruby, etc. Growthbook's SDKs are built to be very developer friendly. The flagged rules are passed in as a JSON file, which is used together with the user attributes to determine which features are shown to which users. As the JSON file can be cached and the rule set is evaluated locally, it means that not only does no personal identifiable information leave your servers, but it's also extremely fast. Let's take a look at an existing feature flag. You can see that each feature flag has a default behavior and then override rules. You can add as many rules as you like, and the first matching rule is what is served. You can add rules to gradually roll out the feature, or easily turn it into an experiment. Speaking of experiments, let's take a look at that now. Unlike most other experimentation systems, Growthbook ties into your existing sources of event data, wherever that might be stored. We support most popular data warehouses, from Snowflake, BigQuery, Redshift, or even Mixpanel and Google Analytics. This means that no event data is ever sent to Growthbook servers, and you can create a single source of truth for your data. You can also just use the experimentation part of Growthbook without the feature flagging if you like. To get started, all you have to do is tell Growthbook where to get the experiment exposure information from, about which users saw which experiment variation. And then you define the metrics that you want to test against. Metric definitions are extremely flexible. Any data you can query, you can experiment against. Here's an example of an experiment we're running. We support full markdown to document how the experiment was set up, what the hypothesis was, and any other observations around the experiment. We also support adding screenshots so you can capture exactly what was tested. And on the right, you can see where we're pulling the data from and the metrics that we're testing against. Let's switch over to the results. Here we show the variations as columns, and we have one metric per row. Our Bayesian statistics engine gives you the actual percent change observed, as well as the percent chance it's better than the control. We also show you the risk of choosing, which is if you choose this variation, what's the expected loss if you're wrong? Below we have the guardrail metrics, which are metrics you're not necessarily trying to improve, but you don't want to make any worse. We also allow you to do a dimensional analysis on these results by date or by any other attribute you've defined in your queries. Furthermore, you can create ad hoc experiment reports based on these results and adjust any parameters you like, such as date ranges, metrics, even custom SQL queries. We also expose all the queries that we use to generate any data we show you on Growthbook, as well as allow you to export the results as a Jupyter Notebook for further exploration. Well, I hope you enjoyed this very brief overview of the Growthbook platform. If you have any questions, we're happy to answer them at our Slack or at email at hello at growthbook.io. Thanks for watching.